Hi everybody, Dr. Pingle here with a quick lesson on uh, downloading data uh, from OSM and saving it locally in preparation for getting it into your GIS. Um, when you go to download data, uh, it actually is going to go ahead and, and fetch everything uh, that you download. Uh, so the question is, how do we um, how do we make use of that uh, in a GIS? And so I'm going to show you two different ways. Um, one is going to be using JOSM to do it, uh, and the other is going to be uh, using uh, Overpass Turbo to do it. Uh, both work, uh, and what you're interested in, um, depending on what you're interested in, um, either either may be more appropriate. Once you get this data in, um, we're going to turn the imagery on. Uh, so this is a bunch of data that I've downloaded around Northern Illinois University. We've turned on the Bing aerial imagery. How do we save this data? Well, one thing that you can do uh, is you can actually save all of the data in your layer um, by uh, doing a save as. Uh, and then rather than saving things as an OSM server file, uh, you can save things to another format. Uh, and we know that GeoJSONs uh, are readable by a number of different things. Um, so we could save this as south DeKalb.json. Uh, and that would be a start. The problem is, is that there's a, there's a lot of different kinds of, of data in here. Uh, and uh, what we really probably want to do is, is simplify this a little bit and, and work only on particular things. So another way to get your data uh, into JOSM, specific data that you might be interested in, uh, is to um, find a particular, uh, a particular piece. So in this case, we're going to turn on the map data. And this will just take a second to come in. But suppose we zoomed in here and we were interested in getting the polygon for the lagoon. Uh, we can uh, click on the boundary. Uh, and it'll highlight it. And over on the left panel here, uh, we're going to get a piece uh, that is a, a way. Um, so as we kind of move through here, um, this is a part of the, the East Lagoon. Uh, it's defined as the outer portion of it. Uh, you can bring relations in uh, to an arc, to ARC or any other GIS. Um, they can just get a little bit complicated because they do have mixed geometry. So we're just going to download this way. It's a single kind of a shape, in this case, a polygon. Uh, in fact, edited by me about a year ago, uh, and we're going to bring it into JOSM. So this is a way, and it's got an identifier here. So we're going to copy that, and I've gone ahead and uh, cleared out uh, my layer, so I don't have anything anything in here uh, at all, just a Bing layer. And we're going to download um, an object. Uh, we're going to download a way, and that way is going to be this one. Um, we may download, in this case, we're not going to download the relation members. Uh, we're not going to download uh, refers. Uh, we can bring it in as a separate layer, uh, although it would do it automatically anyway. So we'll hit download. Uh, it's going to bring that feature in. And so now we just have this one feature that we're interested in. Uh, we can go file, save as, uh, and then save it uh, as, we're going to save it as a GeoJSON again, uh, East eastlagoon.json. Okay, uh, so this is the way that you can use uh, JOSM to do some simple sort of exports uh, to GeoJSON. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to show you uh, was how to use Overpass Turbo. Uh, so Overpass Turbo is overpass-turbo.eu. Uh, by default here, we've loaded up Rome. Uh, it comes up with this um, uh, default, um, default view here. Uh, and we can run, uh, we can run this query. So in this case, this is looking for uh, things marked as tourism museum, uh, and it's going to load up all of these features. Now, how do you generate this? This is kind of uh, a little bit complicated, uh, but we can use wizards to help us out. Um, so we can click on wizard. We can get a little bit more information about how to use it. Um, so it has some good suggestions here. Tourism equal hotel, amenity equal drinking water. Um, try some things out. Uh, use the uh, OpenStreetMap wiki to sort of get some ideas. Um, in this case, let's try um, let's try tourism equal hotel. So we're going to put that in here, and we're going to build a query. So this will just take a second. It's going to figure out how to do this. Uh, oh, we're already set. There we go. It's already set to tourism equal hotel. Uh, so we can run that query. A lot of hotels, so this is Rome. Um, 
we could run this query. You'll notice that it's only going to look for things within its view. Um, so we could do the same thing somewhere else. Uh, so maybe we wanted to look for all of the hotels in Chicago, right? Finding that layer uh, as geodata could be difficult, but um, OpenStreetMap makes this pretty easy. So we'll hit run again. Uh, this time it's going to run it again based on our, our view. We should get quite a few hits. Great. Now probably this isn't all of the hotels, um, but uh, maybe it's a, it's a good start. So we can download this. Uh, we can hit export. Uh, we have a number of different choices here. We're going to export these as a GeoJSON, uh, and we'll save this as hotels.geojson. Now, uh, using the Arc tools, uh, they really prefer using the .json file extension. Uh, .geojson is a probably a little bit more um, appropriate, but it really doesn't make any difference which one you use. If you're going to try to bring it in directly into Arc, um, JSON is probably the, the safer bet. So we'll hit save. Uh, actually, it looked like, uh, got to pay close attention here, this saved it as hotels.json.geojson, so that's not really what we want here. Uh, let's edit that. There we go. And we're just changing that file name to hotels.json. Okay, uh, so we'll, we'll then just take a quick look here at how we um, do the conversion. So we're going to look for... Um, Ogre shapefile, uh, and this is the one we want. It's an OGR to OGR web client, uh, which means it's going to be transferring, uh, it's going to be converting vector-based information. So we can choose a file. In this case, we'll choose hotels.json. Um, we can specify the source and target SRS. Uh, so this is going to be basically the coordinate system uh, that we're using. Uh, remember when I said that uh, it's good to be a little bit familiar with some of the EPSG codes. Uh, so this says, for instance, for instance, EPSG colon 4326. So um, you can look these things up on spatialreference.org. Uh, and you can see things like existing codes 4326. This is WGS84. So this is a very common one. Uh, it's something good to know. So we're just going to leave that uh, as uh, 4326. Uh, and uh, we actually want to change this around because we want to convert uh, from GeoJSON, not to GeoJSON. Uh, so what we want to do is this one. So if we go back into, um, oops, that's JOSM. If we go back into Overpass Turbo, uh, these are the hotels that we saw. If we hit export here, um, when we hit that Save as GeoJSON button, you'll notice that this uh, export window showed up. Uh, so what we did before is we saved this to a file, but what we can do is we can uh, select all of the data in here. So I just hit Control-A to select all, and then Control-C to copy. There's a lot of data here, so it's safer to use Control-A and Control-C to get it all rather than to try to use your mouse. Uh, so I've copied all of my data, and I'm going to paste it into this window. Uh, you can also give it URLs. Uh, this is where we're going to save it to an output name. So we'll save this as hotels.zip uh, and hit convert to shapefile. Now we've got a pretty big uh, warning here. Uh, this is actually not that uncommon. Uh, so if you run into these errors, uh, don't be, um, don't give up. Uh, let's talk about how we can work through those. So if we go back to um, Overpass Turbo, one of the things that you'll notice here is that when we did a search for tourism uh, hotel, we looked for nodes, ways, and relations. Uh, but as I said earlier, shapefiles can only hold one geometry. Uh, so maybe what we want to do is we want to comment out uh, these part, this part of the code uh, that we're not interested in. Um, so we're just going to use these two backslashes, which are a, um, a, a, an indicator that that the computer should ignore that line. It's what's called a comment. Uh, this is a comment as well. This is what's known as a multi-line comment. Uh, and so we have a, a, a beginning kind of tag and an ending tag right here. Uh, but we're just gonna we're just gonna comment out uh, way in relation, and we're gonna run this again. So we're probably gonna get a subset here. We didn't get as much information. That's okay. This is really just kind of an experiment. We're gonna export this again as GeoJSON. 
So there it is. It wants to save it. Uh, so we could save this again as hotels. Uh, maybe we want to call it hotels two, uh, and we'll save it as dot json, so we don't have to rename it. Okay. So it came in as hotels two dot json. Again, we're going to come into this window. Control A to highlight it all. Control C to grab it. And in Ogre, we're going to go back in over here to Ogre. And we're going to paste the new ones back in. Uh, we'll save this again as hotels. That's fine. We'll hit convert to shape file. This time, instead of getting a big error screen, we're getting a prompt to save a file. So hotels.zip. So we hit save. And if we show this in the folder and we unzip it to hotels, what we get is a shapefile. Uh, so this is the kind of shapefile that you can bring directly into Arc. So we walked through um, a couple of the uh, quick conversions, or sorry, we've, we've, we've walked through the export of uh, data from OSM uh, out to a GeoJSON file. Uh, and we walked through using Ogre um, to convert a GeoJSON to a shapefile that we can then bring directly into Arc. Uh, thanks for listening, and we'll catch you next time.